Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our December 2019 on a 69 plate BMW X3 M40i finished in sapphire black metallic with 26,675 approximately miles on it with full BMW service history. Just two owners from new. And uh, this car has a great deal of spec on it. So we're gonna go around the vehicle. Now, usually we would machine polish all of the vehicle, but this car has had a 1,100 pounds worth of ceramic coating um, applied to the paintwork. Also has a ghost alarm, uh, wheel spacers, just in case I forget. Uh, Maxton front splitter and side skirts. Has the shadow um, pack on it as well, the black gloss grille, black mirrors, etc. And some lovely spec, as I say. So we're going to go around the vehicle and show you the condition of the vehicle and all of the spec on the vehicle. Now, additionally, the headlights and the tail lights have had um, a film coating just to give them a slightly darker appearance. I don't know if you can pick up on it with the camera. It's quite subtle, but from the naked eye, it's slightly duller. Um, you can't really make it out in the camera as much. Now, it has the adaptive LED lights. So these lights will follow the direction of the steering wheel to light the road up and adjust the headlights to oncoming traffic. Now, if I come down close, oh, sorry, down, further down, uh, you can see the Maxton splitter that just really finishes the front off. It's much sportier. We've got front and rear parking sensors. We've got park assist. The car will fully park itself. We've got the parking assistant plus, which gives you the 360 cameras. One of those cameras is bang in the middle of the picture there just in between the kidney grills. There are very few tiny, and I mean tiny, little stone chips, if you can see them, um, but hardly anything, to be honest with you. I'm being very critical when I say that. It's in absolutely beautiful condition. And if we come up onto the bonnet, and move around this way, and just come slowly across, you can just see how nice the bodywork is. There's nothing on there. And if we come up across the top and look at the shine we've got on the vehicle, on that paintwork, it's really lovely. The windscreen, all in beautiful condition. Connect, uh, connective drive cameras up at the top there. We've got heads up display. We've got the full panoramic sunroof as well black gloss bars at the top cameras on the wing mirrors as well so you get that full 360 view now if i come oh we're out of focus sorry I'll come down low on this side and look down the vehicle beautifully polished and shiny no ripples or anything. I'm gonna come around this side. The light's a little bit darker on this side. And then we'll zoom in. Look at the paintwork. All the panels, all nice and straight. It's not had any paintwork there. Really beautiful condition. Let's just come back out now. And we've got, uh, I think that they might be about 20 mil, but we've got wheel spacers. So if you look at the side profile, they, they're obviously legal because they sit just inside the wheel arch. But it gives, gives the uh, vehicle a much better stance. If I come round to this side, give you the side profile from this side. I have to say, this is one of my favourite vehicles. They drive so nicely. And this one has got probably the best spec that we've had on one of these and the condition to match. You can just make out those rear lights slightly smoked. All of the wheels and tyres 
all immaculate on the wheels, good set of tyres all around. M Sport brakes, this is the 21 inch wheels on this vehicle. Uh, we'll open up the roof in a minute. We've got um, keyless entry so we can lock the doors. This little grill bit, if I get that in focus. <laughs> a little bit here to lock. Put your hand in to unlock. Like so, whoops, that's good. And we'll come back to the interior in just a minute. A little sneak preview of the interior there. And then round to the back. Rear parking sensors. With the park assist with these uh, later cars, especially the BMWs and the Mercedes, they will do not only the steering, they'll do the throttle, the braking, and the gear change. You just press and hold a button and it will parallel park or park into a space um, all on its own. It's a little bit uh, scary at first to rely on the system, but it works ex extremely well. We've got the sun protection glass at the back, all around the filler cap. It'll run on anything up to E25 fuel. We're currently on running on the E10 at the moment. Again, the wheels are all immaculate. I'll show you from this side. Really lovely looking vehicle. And they drive just like a car, you know, there's no body roll. It has the adaptive M Sport suspension, so the shock absorbers will stiffen up in sport mode, softening uh, economy or eco pro mode on comfort, or you can adjust it individually. Now on the interior, we have the, I think it's Fiona Red Merino leather. So Merino leather is part of the BMW individual range and the leather is selected from um, basically cattle uh, that has no scarring in the leather. And there's a whole process that, that uh, they go through with the Merino leather and it's all hand stitched, electric seats and bolster and lovely cross stitching and pattern throughout the seats, contrasting stitching on the edge there in red, all the way up, headrest push forward. And the feel of the Merino leather is so different. When you sit in it, it has, it just, it just has a different sort of feel about it. It's so much softer. Um, just trying to keep this in focus. And I think it really finishes the interior, makes it a lot classier inside. I'll show you some of the interior when we come round. And then we've got the panoramic roof as well. So it's got the M Sport Plus package. It gives you the M Sport brakes, the bigger wheels, Harman Kardon sound system. We've got the comfort access. We've got the visibility package, which is the adaptive headlights. We've also got the technology pack, which is the, sorry, that's the heads up display, wireless charging. Now all of the door cards, there's no damage on any of them. There's no damage in the door shuts. We've got over mats in rubber as well. No damage on the back of the seats. We've got rear climate control, which you can operate down there, and USB-C ports down there as well. It's so nice and clean. It was truly loved by the last owner. The M Sport seat belts as well. All of the leather in the rear. Center armrest. 
And if we come round to the rear, we've, because we've got the comfort access, we can run our foot under the bumper and the tailgate will lift up automatically. We can also lock the boot from the tailgate. And the last keeper has put this uh, plastic protective strip along the back there, which has also got no marks on it, but a bit of extra protection. We've got the extended or luggage package with the little anchor points that slide up and down in the rails at the side. Got little hooks, put your shopping on, the elasticated storage there. We can put the rear seats down by pulling these handles. We've got a 12 volt socket on this side. If I just bring you up and over, no damage to the headlining. And then it's all really nice up here as well. If we look at the parcel shelf, no scratches. It's so like new, this car. It's absolutely lovely. And with the Harman Kardon sound system, we've got ex, uh, extra speakers in the back, in the sides, under the seats. Now we'll just press that and drop the, drop the tailgate down. Come round to the driver's side rear. Checking out the door carb. We're looking for any damage, you know, to point out, but there is none on the vehicle so far. Don't think we're gonna find any either. So if you've been looking for one of these, these vehicles do not come up very often with this amount of spec on. So rather than just watching the video and thinking about it, make a phone call because I don't think we're gonna have this vehicle very long. And uh, it's very hard to get even new vehicles with the level of spec nowadays, sort of, dropping some bits because it's very hard to get all of the semiconductors and various different materials. In fact, I believe some manufacturers are even struggling with colors now because they can't get all of the chemicals for the different pigments. Folding electric mirrors. Memory seats. Or memory seat on the driver's side I should say and again just look at the condition all the pedals all the lights all the switches the steering wheel We've got heated steering wheel as well and we'll take a look at these front seats from this side absolutely immaculate or the piano black in the center here. I think this is actually, I think he did say it might have been ceramic coated, I'm not too sure. Really nice. And um, the heads up display, oh, you can't see it from there. Let's see, we've got the heads up display there. So let's jump in. And uh, let's start it up. You see the Harman Kardon sound system, speakers. Now we have the technology package, so that gives you the navigation in the center of the display screen here. Now currently we have the heads up display on, so you can just make it out on the bonnet there. And if I flick Radio. But do you agree with Let's the just turn that. Then at 4 15, it's all about that time. The Royal Biographer Angela Levin will be in the studio to give you all the latest from behind the There we go. Before YouTube cut me off, I can flick through the stations. This will show the navigation. Uh, you've got power over here. Uh, well, you can see me. Uh, no. Can't point it out that way but there's your heads up display now down here let's turn this fan down and we get 
interference. Okay, so down here on the BC button, that will change the view on this side. And through to your comfort modes, etc. We've got buttons that operate either the heads up display or the screen there. We've got our cruise control on this side and speed limiter. And what I was going to show you is if we go into um, car um, settings, displays, head up display, we can adjust the brightness, we can adjust the angle so we can twist the screen. I'll show you with this one here bring the height down a bit actually there you go height and that will adjust it in that direction and we can also display list in head up display now if we turn that to instrument cluster when we use the button on the steering wheel here it will bring the heads up display information or some of it at least because I can see that we've still got the sport side there's a see that when you rev the engine you can see the rev limiter on there and then we come down here we can have the radio or the mute Ooh, let's go back to radio we can then bring this information down here now the purpose of that is basically because if you've got sunglasses on you can't see the heads-up display very clearly so it allows you to move that display as I say here and we can move it back to oh, let's just get this brightness down move it back onto the heads up display we can have sport displays on when you're in sport mode only which i think is quite a good option reduce the height as well so there's quite a lot you can change we can bring the navigation up like so we've got apple carplay on the vehicle as well I haven't tried it for Android Auto, but it may well have that as well. Um, so you've got lots of different settings. So set up your map settings. What else was in there? Don't think we need that. Now these windows, you can um, make up your own window and add stuff to, is it this one? There we go add page so you can add or delete pages in here and set up a screen that suits you let's go let's use the button down here actually come back down to here if we go into menu car driving information journey data in there sport displays They've changed the out uh, the the look of that now. Driving al analysis, <laughs> and then you've got the four-wheel drive view, energy flow. And come back out of oh, come back out of there. Your communication, your nav, apps. If you want to link up to oh, there we go. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So I won't start that because it will shut the video off. Sorry, I will go in there again because I just realised it wasn't quite in focus. There we go. Okay, so if we go map, we can also uh, address input. We can either speak or we can use the top of the i drive wheel p o z oh it's not a z that's for sure it was definitely a three in z. my book z z oh z <laughs> doesn't like my freeze okay never had that problem before it doesn't like a free like that either. We'll try one more time. We've got zero. O. Z. 
Okay. We'll leave it at that. We'll come back to that. It doesn't like my handwriting. But basically you can write in there. You can also, if we go to map, sorry. Um, if we come across to the left here, map settings, map, is it this one? Okay. Map style standard. Alternative, you can change the display. And the other thing, we can update it. Settings, map. I was just looking. Where is it? Ah, there we go. That's where we change the direction. So that's perspective. Now we can save that, as I've mentioned in other videos, on there. And then if we want, whoops. If we want this view, we could save that on number six. So we could just go from number six, that view to number seven. Oh, number seven, we haven't, oh, we've done it on the same one. We're doing really well so far, aren't we? Okay, so number seven. Okay, so perspective on number seven. Press number six, it changes the view. You can also um, put telephone numbers into those numbers. And if you run your finger just along them, you can see they come up at the top there. Now, if we go into car, driving information, vehicle status. This is where you'll find your tire pressure monitor, your engine oil. Uh, service requirements, uh, you can see if we go to the top, got the previous services that were done in there. And I think we're due, we're not due for another service yet. I think it's got one more service to have done. So that'll all be updated apps. Okay, now the other thing I wanted to mention was the adaptive suspension. So Let's quickly come back to here. Let's try and get the brightness down. So Eco Pro, this will adjust the um, engine settings for better fuel economy. Now we can set this up. It'll be relaxed in the suspension. Uh, now you can set different um, options in here. For example, coasting allows you to come off the brake, uh, sorry, come off the accelerator uh, without getting any engine braking, so you can just coast up to junctions. Your seat heating, you can reduce the power, reduce the power to your climate, the lighting, and then you can adjust the dampers for sport or comfort. We'll leave it in comfort. Oops, sorry. Uh, the steering, you might want that in sport. You might prefer more direct. Now, if we go to comfort mode, this is a balance setting, a preset setting. Then we've got sport and sport plus and then we've got individual and then we can configure it so the damping we can have in sport or comfort the steering the same and then we've got other options for the engine which you can have in comfort sport and sport plus and in sport it will actually prime the throttle a bit more responsive the gear change in sport plus will turn some of the traction off the transmission, this will allow um, for a smoother gear change in comfort and select a higher gear. And then in sport, a little bit more responsive and it will down change a bit quicker. And then in sport plus, it will also hold on to the gears and downshift when you're braking into a corner. So lots of options in there. We've got auto brake hold down here as well. Now, if we select a gear, so we'll select a gear. Ah, oh, I've just realised something. I need to turn the car off. We have a ghost alarm. So what I need to do is turn everything off. Turn it on. Uh, how am I going to do this? Let's lock the vehicle up. Unlock and then basically start the vehicle. I don't, yep, that little flash means it's turned off. Now I can select a gear. So the reason it turned off is how I hadn't gone through the ghost alarm procedure. 
So it allows you to start the car, but if you go to select a gear, it will cut out unless you follow the procedure. So we've got auto hold. So we're in gear, press the auto hold button. And now basically we've got the brake holding without our foot on the pedal. If I touch the accelerator, it releases and I come back onto the brake and it's holding, I can take my foot off. So if you're in a traffic jam, basically, it uh, saves you having to hold your foot on the brake. So we'll turn that feature off right now, put it back into park. Now the other feature or item I want to show you is the cameras. So the camera button there, we can bring them on manually by pressing that button and uh, it's showing us the front camera because we're sat here without being in reverse so it shows you that camera first we've got different activation points that we can set for when it will bring the cam cameras on as well so you could do that so when you got to your driveway etc and that's where you can manage all those points that you've selected or at work camera picture you can adjust you've got all the settings there we've also got active pdc emergency intervention and what this does is if you're in, um, let's go back onto it. If you're basically reversing, it'll pick up if someone walks behind and it'll actually bring the brake on so you don't hit them. Now, if we go into reverse, there we go. We've got the cameras here. We've now got the reverse camera. I just wanna see what that, okay. We've got 3D view there. And then we can literally look all the way around the vehicle, like so. Or, as it was suggesting just a minute ago, the gesture control, which is little sensors up there. We can spin, and you get the hang of this. When you move your hand back to the left, just open your hand, and then use that signal that it's suggesting to bring around and you can literally look all the way around the vehicle like so now if we come back over here we've also got car wash mode so that gives you a view looking down at the front so you can line up when you've got those rails in the car wash god forbid anyone who takes this car in a car wash though in fact let's turn this feature off we don't want people taking this car in a car wash it will scratch the hell out the body work so we're going to ignore that you're not going in a car wash um, we have also got parking up there um, so you can basically go back to this view look down the sides I think that's the view from the back etc so fantastic um, amount of cameras and views that you can see all around the vehicle and as I was mentioning before the park assist will fully park the car it does the gear change it's incredible to use but I Unfortunately, I can't show you in the showroom, but uh, really great feature. Now, part of the gesture control as well is if you've got your finger and you spin it round, and, uh, it'll bring the volume up and the volume down. And that'll all be in the um, settings uh, in here. As you can see, we've got driving assistance, safety warnings, collision alert, pedestrian alert, parking maneuvering, we've done that one. Um, if we just go back, actually, like so, displays. We've done that one, so let's go back. And then we've got access to your doors. Lock after a few minutes, flash modes. Fold the mirrors in when locking. And then the interior lighting, we can choose different colors, blues, orange i think there's greens lilacs full array of colors in there um that's what should we go to is there a red in there no let's go orange and white maybe oh and the other one in there uh dimmed for night driving so you can adjust it to uh, dim the lights for night driving climate automatic air recirculation departure plan steering and heating now you can set the temperature so for example in the winter you can set that if it drops to say eight degrees the seat heating 
will come on automatically and you can do that for the passenger as well do that for eight, eight degrees and you can also let's just go back sorry I've gone too far back Ah, it might be under driver actually. Oh yeah, and you've got steering wheel heating as well. And you've got a separate button just down here for that as well. So, I think we've covered most things. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna jump out with uh, got the panoramic roof open. Let's make sure it's in park. Pop the bonnet. Let's go and take a look at this beautiful six cylinder engine. Now, because we've pulled the bonnet release twice, we can just lift up the bonnet. All of the engine bay has been cleaned meticulously and very carefully using products like WD-40. Now, this is a twin scroll turbo engine. So there's two ports into the turbo, um, three cylinders, fill it, uh, you know, Three cylinders supply pressure to one side and the other three to the other side of the inlet. And what that does, it cuts down on lag, you get better performance, better economy. About 340 brake horsepower or PS, they quote, but BMWs tend to make a bit more. And you can remap this engine to over 400 brake horsepower with uh, the Celtic remap that we can uh, have uh, put onto the vehicle should you wish. So a really beautiful, smooth engine. You just push that bonnet down. I'll just bring you up onto the roof, show you the panoramic roof, all open. Let's come back out. So there she is, stunning vehicle. It would be rude if we didn't give it a little bit of throttle we're going to pop it into sport mode because that will open up the valve. In fact, sport plus. We'll have a little listen. And uh, it sounds even nicer when you're out in the vehicle, especially if you do a manual downshift on the gearbox it really burbles stunning car lots of extras uh, hopefully i've covered everything but there's probably a few bits that i have missed it's so hard to remember everything when you're doing the videos now we have some great finance options uh the current rate is at 9.9 .9. i believe a lot of the dealers are two or three percent higher than that We've managed to maintain that rate at the moment. We've got some really good finance, uh, sorry, warranty packages. You can take up to four years uh, warranty on the vehicle, extended warranty. Uh, you can have a claim limit to the value of the car for each individual claim. Uh, it will also cover you to have work done at the main dealer as well. So please, if you have any questions about warranty, get in touch. Well, there we have it. The X3 M40i. Thank you for taking the time and being patient throughout the video. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye now.